Former model secretly had a love for studying science, and that passion is now taking her places. She recently traveled to Alaska as part of a GoPro science team. Joining us is U of I lecturer of science, Joanne Manister. Welcome to CI Living. Hi, thanks for having me on. Uh, so I think Drew and I are both very jealous that you got to go to Alaska. How can we get your job is basically what you're asking. <laughs> what we're asking. Yes. Well, this is actually a part of my job. This is part of my outreach, uh, which I do uh, through my website, through Scientific American, through Twitter, and it was actually because of Twitter, a fan of mine on Twitter, that I got to go to Alaska. So GoPro cameras were looking for uh, bloggers, uh, outreach type people to come along on a science expedition that was looking at auroras, and they hired a PR firm, and the gal in the PR firm asked her mom, who should I ask, and she's, her mom says, you have to ask science goddess. We're looking at some of the video from your trip. Um, explain here, we're seeing GoPro cameras attached to weather balloons that are going up, and this is incredible footage. What were you actually studying when you're setting these cameras up on the weather balloons? So this is a physicist, Professor Ben Longmire from Houston, Texas, and he wanted to view inside the auroras and he did that by using the HD cameras that GoPro has which is just a tiny little camera which can actually withstand uh, the atmospheric pressure or lack of pressure and the cosmic radiation and so we're seeing the curvature of the earth here that this weather that. balloon has captured and it's really quite amazing he also wanted to see inside the auroras uh, and see what it looks like because no one really had sent a camera up 26 miles into the air to, to capture some of that image. That is absolutely breathtaking video. Uh, so how long until, you, you know, the, some of this research, you were actually able to determine anything? Or are you just kind of trying to look and see, catch a view, or what type of, you know, what is actually trying to be studied there? Are you just trying to get a picture of it? Uh, well, they had other equipment that was going up as well, uh, but with the cameras, uh, they it was also being used for educational outreach, so some high schoolers were involved with the project as well as the graduate students. Uh, but also, GoPro cameras was using this sort of to test their equipment. How far can their equipment go? How much can it withstand? So as far as the results, um, I will be awaiting that information from Dr. Longmire. And you, you had never seen the auroras up close and personal, right? No. no. And in fact, the team had been up there several weeks when the bloggers all arrived, and they had cloudy weather, or the auroras were sort of wimpy, and it just happened the night we went out, they almost came on demand at 12.30 at night, and we sat there and watched them. It was beautiful. And so that's what we're seeing now, right? Well, here they're launching another weather balloon, but yes, there is the aurora within... Uh, with the camera, uh, they have a camera to focus on, but this is from the weather balloon, what the auroras look like from up in space. And that's the kind of camera that Drew had strapped to his chest right. running the marathon, so I mean, we're, we're talking a tiny, tiny... You know, I mean, it was very heavy. It took a <laughs> lot of physical... No. Um, so yeah, our, our regular viewers, we, we strapped a GoPro to me, but any, I mean, I, this is much better video than, than I have. <laughs> Um, there's no doubt about that. So, I mean, kind of sum this trip up for us. I mean, what do you take away from this now, and, and kind of where is, is your head and, and heart at after coming back and experiencing something like that? Well, first of all, I'm just really, really grateful that I had this opportunity, and it really came just because I wanted to share science in a broader way, and I do it through social media, uh, and that there were people who said, yeah, she'd be a great person to tell us what happened up there. So that's one thing I take away. And the other is just the great things that scientists are trying to do to share science science with the general public and with uh, students in high school and middle school. It's very exciting. And I know that we have one more video of you. You've never been on a, a dog sled before. No. And <laughs> here we go. Uh, so what what was that experience like being on a... Oh. Well, it was great, <laughs> except for falling. And from what I understand, everybody was up there managed to fall off their uh, dog sled. But I had one of the cameras strapped on so that I could... Uh, uh, <laughs> Capture, I guess, falling off. But, uh, um, yeah, th this was my punishment for talking about my Labrador and these Huskies. I think I didn't appreciate that very much. Well, that's incredible stuff. Um, uh, for, for folks that are out there and w wondering how they can uh, get in touch with you online, where can they find you online? Uh, well, I have a website called Joanne Love Science, but I'm also at Scientific American, uh, a blog that looks at science in video and TV and film. And uh, But on Twitter, you can find me on at Science Goddess. All right. Great stuff. If you want to check out any more of these videos or uh, follow her on Twitter or go onto our website, we can certainly get you connected with her if you head over to CILiving.tv shortly after today's.